Hi, I'm Colleen Taylor with TechCrunch TV, and you're watching Cribs, the series where we go inside the walls of some of the tech industry's hottest companies. Today, I'm at Asana, the task management software startup in San Francisco. This looks like it's their office, so we're gonna go inside and take a look. Hey there. Hi. I'm Jack. Jack. Jack Stahl. Yes, Jack Stahl. Product engineer, right, at Asana? That's one of the things I do, yes. <laughs> Thanks for having us here. Uh huh. And this is just a just sort of general hangout spot. Uh, people can wait here if they're guests, uh, but sometimes. Employees like to just come over when they need a break. Uh, this is actually an, a cute little game that one of our employees, Greg, who's been working here for a while, uh, has been keeping a lot of quotes. So anytime anyone says anyone anything funny, uh, he makes sure to record it. Uh, and he made a game out of it where you have to guess who, it, who said it. I, I'm going to quiz you Sure. Here. Okay. I'm wow. pretty good, I have to say. Okay, okay. Wow, even Alex can't find a way to be a dick about that. That's, that's hard, Tim. Andrew. Andrew. All right, one more, one more. This running a company thing is hard. Dustin, definitely Dustin. Dustin, Dustin Moskovitz. So let's lock in here because I think there's some really sweet things. Okay. We've got our recruiting and our user operations team in here right now. This is one of my favorite things. It's what makes Asana feel like a family, our family tree. Aww. Uh, so <laughs> every picture up there is either a company employee or in some cases advisors and basically the branches represent uh, referrals. So Malcolm referred Greg, and that's why there's a branch from Malcolm to Greg. I see. And so this just sort of reminds people that how we build a company is sort of each bringing on uh, new people, and that's how one from two become many. That unicorn head was made famous when Dustin Moskovitz wore it in his version of the, what was that video that was going around recently? The Harlem Shake. Yes. Uh, but yeah, that's just, that's because we like unicorns mostly, I think. Who doesn't? We're about to go into the lunchroom and people are just starting to eat. Yeah. Uh, you can see over there, there's the uh, list for today. So we got New York strip steak and oysters, as well as quinoa, veggies, sprint, spinach salad, and fruit salad. I will say the strip steak and the oysters are maybe a little nicer than normal, but yeah. overall still a pretty normal day. Here's our little tent. This doubles as a very casual meeting room or just a hangout space. A lot of people work on their laptops from, uh, from the tent during the day. Um, and we've got a bunch of cool bells. <laughs> Can I hit one? Yeah, please. Where, how old are these bells? I, you know, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I can't say I knew that such a thing existed before it, I saw it here, but I really enjoy it. So this is probably my favorite thing in the office. Cool. I'll let it speak for itself and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. Okay. Thanks, Buff. No problem. Thank you. That was amazing. A couple of people at the company go to Burning Man every year. Uh -huh. We all camped together last year, and this was our art project. So what we did was we got a grand piano off of Craigslist. We painted a bunch of crazy colors, covered it in sheets of music, uh -huh. and then hooked up about 500 LEDs to a Linux box and all the keys on the piano so that when you play the piece on the piano, then we can program arbitrary things to make cool patterns on the piano. So this is our nap room in here. It's uh, pretty small and dark because it's meant for taking naps. Nice. No one's in there right now, right? No one's in there right now. But it's got a nice fuzzy comforter because you need to be com comfortable. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> 
periodic table because you need that when you're napping. Just in case, you know, maybe I, there's osmosis. I think, that. you know, there's sort of a nice uh, sort of old time feel with these wood, with these wooden things and books and uh, sort of physical periodic table that maybe makes you feel like you're more at home than in a sort of high-tech environment. Right. You need to de-stress a little bit. So next I want to show you the yoga room. Most mornings at Asana we offer yoga, massage, shiatsu, uh, reiki, other sort of various therapeutics, whatever people will need. So I want to show you what that's like. All right, so I want to show you a new Asana tradition. We recently uh, launched a feature called Hearts on Valentine's Day. And in order to celebrate, we got a bunch of heart balloons in the office. And what do you do when you have a bunch of heart balloons in the office? You attach a knife to a quadricopter, and then you try to pierce the balloons. Of course. To demo you, I want to show you the inventor of this tradition, our co-founder, Dustin Moskowitz. It's really dangerous. I'm going to stay on this side. Hey, Dustin. Hey. <laughs> Good. Careful. Oh my God. It's too heavy. It already killed the battery. What? It killed the battery. <laughs> Last, I want to take you guys down to our kitchen. bigger kitchen than we need, so we're able to sublease it to uh, other food vendors, which is really cool. They get to work out of the space, um, and we get to collaborate with them, so it's kind of a cool thing for Kim and I to be able to bounce ideas off other people and get some creative ideas to keep the sauna full and healthy and running. What's been the favorite so far? Is there like one dish? Um, sushi is always a big favorite. Um, sushi. You really can't go wrong with any type of fish they're pretty excited with. Jack, this has been awesome. Thank you so much for showing us around. Oh, you're welcome. It's been really awesome to have you here. It was fun to take you around the office. Oh, look, I, I just got a, a push notification on my Asana app that I need to go fix a quadcopter, so I better go do that. Bye-bye. <laughs> All right, bye. I guess I'm just down here. Do you need any help or anything? Well, we do have some oysters from lunch that haven't been shucked yet, so. I, I will shuck bye. an oyster. So if you want to take your oyster, you want to look for the little, little seam where they open up there. I put it on the towel. And try to wiggle it in there. Okay. Is this my scene? Yep. Okay. I'm totally gonna fail culinary school. Keep wiggling. Oh wow! Don't shake them off. Twist. Yes. Oh, cool. Cheers. Delicious.